How's it going, everybody? Spike Daddy here. So, Alpha 17 came out. It's good. That's good news. But, of course, just like Alpha 16, we don't think that they actually played the game, you know, because gather rates just crap. They suck. <laughs> In my honest opinion, they do. So, I've already gone through and edited some XMLs, okay? Um, so, as you can see here, I've got some XMLs. These are the Alpha 17 ones. The latest update, which is, what is it, B199, I believe. So, I've got all these set up on here. And this is just a quick little tutorial on how to go ahead and uh, download them and install them. So, you're going to get them inside of a con uh, zip file like this, right? You're going to click on Extract All. You can extract all to your desktop, which is fine. <clears throat> so, boom. They're there now. Once you have them all here, or no, wait, it went inside of here. Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, the gist of it all in that is when you get <clears throat> all of them here, you're going to copy. You're going to go to wherever your 7 Days to Die game is installed. You're going to go into Data, and your config is going to be right here. You just want to copy, replace all 43 files, destination. Yes, done. Now, when you get into the game, one way that you could tell that the XMLs worked is you actually have to get a level. Unfortunately, the UI XMLs and that are a bit more extensive right now because of the whole sneak bar popping up and everything. So I haven't quite figured out how to get the UI to change how it used to be. Um, but <clears throat> at least you'll be able to tell because in this right here, let's see here, I've got a little bit of a little bit of a list of everything I changed. So instead of getting only one skill point per level, you're going to get two skill or three skill points per level. Instead of 9,500 experience to the next level or per level multiplied by 1.0149, 1 uh, it's only 6,500. So you level up a little bit faster. <clears throat> so the beginning isn't too terrible. Uh, zombies give more experience. Um, if a zombie were, say, to give you 700 experience, it now gives you 1,000. Um, but that also depends on the type of zombie, though, too, you know? Like, military zombies and that, I think, used to give, like, 1,500. Now they give, like, 1,800 or something like that. So just little tiny itty bits of changes here for the experience grind. That way, you know, it's not too bad. Um, I also made it to where, because in Alpha 17, I don't know what the heck is in the fun pimp's head. I'm not trying to bash on them or not. I love them for releasing this finally. It's really good. They they did the melee right on this alpha, guys. Like, the melee on this game right now is, oh, it's so good. It, it really it really is. It really is really good. <clears throat> now, of course, I normally don't do a webcam sort of thing like that. So, if some of you are seeing my face for the first time, hi. It's, like, 10 o'clock or so in the morning right now. So, it's, like, I haven't shaved. I haven't showered yet. Sorry, I'm kind of gruff, grungy looking. But I feel, feel like it's time to get this out <clears throat> and about. I know uh, Alpha 17 came out about or so a week ago. So it's, it's time it's time to get something out. <clears throat> um, but level 20 to make a forge with the grind of the experience and how difficult zombies are now with their better AI and all that stuff like that. You'd, you'd hit level, you know, freaking 20 and it finally would be like day 14 or day 16 or something like that if you're playing on, you know, standard settings. So it's like, uh, you know, you, you, you kind of want iron tools before day 7. Like, it, that hasn't changed. That will never change. Which means that you have to hit level 20 before day 7 in order to get the iron tools, in order to hopefully get their better gathering, which we'll go over gathering here in a little bit. <clears throat> so I reduced the requirement for the intellect level 4, which used to be level 20, is now level 10. Now, the tooltip will still say that it says required level 20 to get it, but once you hit level 10, you can purchase it. I haven't figured out how to change it to where it actually comes up and says, hey, you can actually push this as now. Anyways, outside of that, um, I've made a couple changes. Uh, the yucca fruit juice. Yay, yucca juice. We love yucca juice. Doesn't have the cooling property anymore. Kind of a bummer. That's something that I can't even find in the XMLs and that because they don't have it actually listed properly. Um, but instead of taking the two or four yucca fruit plus a full bottle of water now, it goes back to the old recipe, which is an empty jar with the yucca fruit. <clears throat> not quite sure why they wanted it to have a full jar of water. I'm not sure. Um, I also changed the uh, requirements for charred meat, grilled meat, 
and boiled meat to only require one meat because that's how volume works. You put one piece of meat in the fire, you take one piece of meat out. You don't put five pieces of meat in a fire and take one out. I mean, you do if you only want to eat one. You can leave the other four in there. You know what I'm getting at. <clears throat> um, bacon and eggs, instead of taking five, now takes two. Because, you know, you kind of want two strips of bacon. I mean, I don't know about you. Uh, well, <laughs> some of us in that might want like five or six strips of bacon with their eggs. But, you know, we can't, you know, be choosy. <clears throat> I mean, we can because we're kind of adults. But anyways, um, I also made it the ability to craft acid. Now, I was kind of not really wanting to make any recipes right off the bat to where crafting something that's supposedly going to be like hard to get in the game. But they basically give you in game now after learning these things, the schematics for, well, essentially for freaking uh, making the bikes. You know, you make you can make the bicycle to the mini bike to the motorcycle and so on and so forth. So it's like level, I think it's like level 20 or level 30 now with my edited XMLs here and that, that you can get the bicycle and the mini bike. But you'll be damned if you can find any acid to make wheels. And if you don't have a wrench to wrench a tire and get the chances of getting a tire for wheels, it's kind of a pain in the rear. So I threw that in there. Of course, you could wrench the tires. I mean, let that be up to your discretion. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I changed was the iron spikes. So they got rid of our wonderful woodlock spikes that you've seen me build in all of my bases. They're the OP design. They finally got rid of them, and I'm actually happy they got rid of them. Because to tell you the truth, the base design that I had for Alpha 16 was pretty overpowered. Um, me and XB, we did the test. His fall trap versus my base. My base withstood day 721 horde with a game stage of over, I think, like 3,000 3, or something like that. Without me actually killing a zombie myself. The base did all the work and it survived the night. So it needed to be removed. Okay, this, the spikes and the ability to do that to sort of build needed to get removed. However, with that being said, they also decided to increase the cost of iron spikes. <clears throat> so I left the wood spikes alone. 20 wood for one wood spike. Okay, that seems pretty fair enough, especially since I did increase gather rates on here. Okay, however, for forged iron per iron spike. Okay. So now you're telling me that in order to make iron spikes, which honestly I've seen them, I've seen zombies run right through wood spikes and not even give two craps about it. Iron spikes, the ones that actually kill them properly and actually stop them somewhat dead in their tracks for the first like three or four or five zombies or so in that. So you're telling me that we need to have a forge for do that. Well, then you're telling me that I have to be level 20 in order to do that. Yeah, you see where my changes are coming into play here? Yeah, they're, they're coming into a play for an actual game balancing reason. Every single person that I've seen that are avid seven days to die players, day seven, they throw their base down in that. They don't, they can't get any iron spikes or anything like that because they don't have a forge yet or something along those sort of lines. And they get completely ran over and they're getting discouraged playing this game because of the fact that they've made so many good changes. So they now the AI is really smart. It'll just go after one spot in your freaking base and just go right through it. Doesn't matter if you run over here or run over there in your base, how you can kind of load balance on it, you know? No, that doesn't happen anymore. Plus, not having the forge means not having iron spikes, which, you know, then means that you also don't have the proper stuff to handle the seven-day horde, the 14-day horde. I just got done with my seven-day horde on my single player. I'm sorry I didn't record it, guys, but... It was more along the lines of, I mean, let's see here, what was it, a day or two days or so after Alpha 17 B197 came out, they threw an update, which essentially broke the XMLs, and I had to redo the XMLs and do all that stuff like that. So I've actually been busy doing a lot of this stuff right here versus kind of recording. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, let's see here. What else did we go through and do? I decreased the level of some perks. Oh yes, I also increased crafting time too. Um, after, because I've done I've done a bunch of incremental tests and in that on here. So the, the the level ten requirement for the intellects five or for intellect four, level twenty for five, and so on and so forth down the uh, down the trip, and that's the same for strength, perception, I think, agility, 
I want to say that I improved those ones. I might have to go back and double check and look now. But anyways, they will be changed to where they don't require level 20. Because what was it? Uh, level 1 through 3 were level 1 requirements. You can get those right away. And then it jumped to level 20. And that, that's to me, that's too much of a jump. It really is. So <clears throat> that should be about it for here. Oh yeah, I was I was on I was on the train for the iron iron uh for the iron spikes and I didn't tell you what I did. So instead of taking four forged iron to make the iron spikes, it now takes forty scrap iron to make them. As well as scrap iron to repair and maintain them. So it gives it gives it gives players that, you know, didn't get lucky and didn't hit level twenty before day seven to actually have a fighting chance on the day seven horde. Um, gather rates are increased. Um, they're actually increased by quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be continuing to kind of monitor that and see how, how the gather rates are. Cause I don't, I don't want anything too overpowered. Okay. Like I might actually have to cut back some on the wood because I did notice that one of the fully grown pine trees in that gave me like, like 800 or 900 wood. And I feel like that is probably a little bit overpowered. You should have to chop down like four or five trees at that versus the 20 to 50 trees they want you to cut down right now just to build a small little base but anyways guys i think that's going to do it for here once again we'll go over it really quick like so if you go to where your seven days to die folder is installed at mine's on my g drive it's my 500 gig drive you go into seven days to die folder you go to data your config is your xml's now if you don't feel comfortable copying over this whole folder in that you can go inside of here make sure you copy all of these bring them all over Replace them all, boom, it's done, it's done. You now have my edited XMLs, enjoy. Um, I would recommend starting up a, a new game um, just because it might be looking for the older XMLs which have an invalid hash or something, they have a special hash file to them. But you could try playing it on your regular, uh, <clears throat> On your regular game right now just overload it and see what it does let me know if it works but thanks you guys i promise i will try to get a actual uh let's play kind of going for seven days to die here that way hopefully i can get you guys also set up on the base design that essentially worked for me actually let's do this let me see if i can actually find uh screenshots so right there Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, that doesn't work at, at all. Here. Let's go into here. There. So that was the base that I did Night 7 on. Now, I was able to build this base prior to Night 7 because of my XMLs. So that finally gives you an idea. Now, this is just cobblestone, okay? And the iron spikes going around it. There is two rows of iron spikes here. It goes up to the next rung which is all those and then it's also surrounded by barbed wire to slow them down a little bit they did start to breach right here they came from over in this side they ran through here they got up to here the first wave got completely wrecked by these guys by the iron spikes then they finally got up here and we're hitting now you'll notice that oh but that's that's just your pole base design that that shouldn't withstand you're right it shouldn't withstand but that's because that's a double pole base so this block right here that pole is like we normally would set it up there's a pole behind that that is actually down lower. So it actually double layers it. Dogs can't run through it. Crawlers can't get through it. Spiders can't get through it. And they actually, I've noticed that they like attacking this top block for some reason. I don't know why. But they attack that top block. And as you know, they're going to attack that. But they can't get through because of this block that's above this block. So it's essentially an effective double layer. Um, I'll, I'll go a little bit more detail into that. But I guess that's just kind of a little bit of a... A little bit of a teaser, I suppose. That's how I get up into the base, by the way. <laughs> I don't trust the underground tunnels anymore. Now that the zombies can dig, mm -mm, ain't gonna happen. No, thank you. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to click on that like button. Don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, of course, special thanks to my patrons. No, do not auto shut down. You auto shut down canceled. Mic right. on. That's right. <laughs> stupid headset telling me what it's going to do. <laughs> it interrupt my outro. A stupid jerk. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, click on the subscription. Click on that little subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. That way you can be alerted for whenever a video is released. Um, 
I guess that's probably about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode, and uh, I'm going to see about maybe getting a, uh, an Alpha 17 Let's Play started. So until next video, guys, take care and take it easy.